Dear student, in this video we will learn chapter number 3 triangles. Practice at 3.2. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it today itself. Let's start. Here we have question number 1. In each of the examples given below, a pair of triangle is shown. Equal parts of triangle in each pair are marked with the same sign. Observe the figures and state the test by which triangles in each pair are congruent. Okay, you can see here we have two triangles. And you can see that side AB and side PQ got a same kind of mark. Therefore, side AB congruent to side PQ. Okay, and here side BC and side QR got a same kind of mark. Therefore, side BC congruent to side QR and side AC and side PR got a same kind of mark. Therefore, side AC congruent to side PR. So you can see that here both the triangles have equal sides. It means all three sides of both the triangles are congruent to each other. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent by SSS test. Let's see question number two. Here we have two triangles and you can see that some identical marks are shown in this figure. Okay, you can see here side LM and side XY got a same kind of mark. Therefore, side LM congruent to side XY. And here you can see in this figure angle LMN and angle XYZ got a same kind of mark. Therefore, angle LMN congruent angle XYZ. Okay, and side MN and side YZ got a same kind of mark. Therefore, side MN is congruent to side YZ. Okay, therefore, these two triangles are congruent by SAS test. Here we have question number third. You can see that some identical marks are shown in the figure itself. Okay, you can see here angle P and angle S got a same kind of mark. Therefore, angle P congruent angle s and you can see your side pr the side and side su got a same kind of mark therefore side pr congruent side su and here angle r and angle u got a same kind of mark therefore angle r congruent angle u so here angle p congruent to angle s and side PR congruent to side SU and angle R congruent to angle U. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent by angle side angle test. Now here we have question number two and you can see that both the triangles are right angle triangle. Okay, because your angle M is 90 degree and angle T is 90 degree. So both the triangles are right angle triangle. And you can see that here side LN congruent to side PR, right? Because they got a same kind of mark. And these two sides are known as hypotenuse of both the triangles. So hypotenuse of both the triangles are congruent to each other. Okay, because of that identical mark. And here side LM congruent to side TP. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse side test. Here we have question number two. Observe the information shown in pairs of triangles given below. State the test by which the two triangles are congruent. Write the remaining congruent parts of the triangles. Okay, you can see that here it is given that angle ABC congruent to angle PQR. Okay, you can see the, here, these two angles got a same kind of mark. It's a given these two angles are congruent and side BC congruent to side QR. Okay, the side, side BC congruent to side QR. It's a given and angle ACB 
congruent angle PRQ, this angle, okay, angle ACB, okay, and angle PRQ got the same kind of mark. So these two angles are congruent. Okay, therefore these two triangles are congruent by angle side angle test. Okay, so what we will write here? Angle side angle test. Okay. Now look at over here. Here it is given that angle BAC, this angle. Okay, angle BAC congruent to dash. Angle BAC is congruent to angle QPR. Okay. Why these two angles are congruent? Because they are angles of congruent triangle. Similarly here, side AB, okay, this side, is congruent to dash. So side AB is congruent to side PQ, as they are sides of congruent triangles. Here dash is congruent to PR. Where is the PR? Over here, this side. Side PR is congruent to side AC, right? Side PR is congruent to side AC because they are sides of equal triangles. Here we have question number two from the information shown in the figure. Okay. In triangle PTQ and in triangle STR, side PT congruent to side ST. Okay. You can see your side PT and side ST got a same kind of mark. So these two sides are congruent to each other. It's a given, right? And here angle PTQ congruent to angle STR. Angle PTQ, this angle and angle STR are congruent because they are vertically opposite angle. Okay. And side TQ congruent to side TR. Okay. You can see this, this side, side TQ and side TR are congruent to each other. It's a given. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent by side angle side test. So what do we write here? Side angle side test. Now look at here. Angle TPQ. Where's angle TPQ? This angle. Okay. Angle TPQ is congruent to which angle? Angle TPQ is congruent to angle PSR. Okay. Angle PSR. So what do we will write here? Angle PSR. TSR. Okay. And angle angle TRS is congruent to which angle? Angle TRS, this angle. Okay. Angle TRS is congruent to angle PQT. Okay. So what we will write here? Which angle we will write over here? PQT or TQP as they are angles of congruent triangle and side PQ. Okay. This side. Side PQ is congruent to which side? Side RS. So which side we will write here? Side RS or seg RS as they are sides of congruent triangles. Now here we have next question from the information shown in the figure state the test assuring the congruence of triangle ABC and triangle PQR and write the remaining congruent parts of the triangles. Okay. Let's see the proof of this. You can see that here both the triangles are right angle triangle. Okay. So here this side, side BC, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle is congruent to side PR of triangle PQR. That means the hypotenuse of both the triangles are congruent. So hypotenuse BC congruent to hypotenuse PR. It's a given. You can see this. They got the same kind of mark. Okay. And here side AB, this side, side AB and side PQ are congruent because they got a same kind of mark. And angle BAC, okay, this angle, angle BAC is congruent to angle PQR because they they have same measure. Both have same measure that is 90 degree. 
ओके दे फोर ट्राइंगल ए बी सी कॉन्ग्रेन ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर बाई हाइपोडीनियस साइड टेस्ट सो आई हैव प्रूव इट ओवर हियर दिस टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रेन बाई हाइपोडीनियस साइड टेस्ट आफ्टर प्रूविंग दोज टू ट्राइंगल्स कॉन्ग्रेन ओके फर्स्ट इट वॉज आस फाइंड आउट बाई विच टेस्ट दिस टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रेन राइट सो दिस टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रेन बाई हाइपोडीनियस साइड टेस्ट एंड नाउ यू हैव ट्राइड द रिमेनिंग कॉन्ग्रेन पार्ट्स ऑफ द ट्राइंगल्स ओके पार्ट्स मीन्स यू नो द एवरी ट्राइंगल हैज सिक्स पार्ट three angles and three sides now we have to find out remaining parts which are congruent in this figure okay so here seg ac okay seg ac congruent to seg qr okay the side seg ac and seg qr will be congruent as they are sides of congruent triangle okay and here angle abc congruent angle qpr angle abc this angle okay you can see in this figure angle abc is congruent to angle qpr okay because of ca ct and angle acb okay you can see in the figure angle acb congruent to angle qpr because of ca ct now here we have question number 4 as shown in the figure in triangle lmn and triangle pnm lm and pn are equal ln equals to pm and write the test which shows the congruence of two triangles and write their remaining congruent parts what we have to find out by which test these two triangles are congruent okay and afterward you have to write the remaining congruent parts of this two triangles so let's see the proof of this in triangle lmn and triangle pnm side lm congruent to side pn side lm okay the side congruent to side pn because they got a same kind of mark it's a given okay and side ln congruent to side pm okay the side side ln okay the side is congruent to side pm okay the side it's a given side mn congruent to side mn okay here side mn congruent to side mn it is side of both the triangles right it is side of triangle lmn as well as it is side of triangle pmn so it is side of both the triangles so we can say this two sides are congruent as they are same side of both the triangles so these two triangles are congruent by side 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 test okay so i have proved it over here okay i have proved it over here these two triangles are congruent by side 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 test and afterward we have tried here remaining congruent parts of those two triangles okay so look at over here you can see in this figure angle lmn congruent to angle pnm right which two angles angle lmn this angle okay congruent to angle pnm because of ca ct an angle you can see in this figure angle mln congruent to angle npm right this angle angle l congruent to angle p that is angle mln congruent to angle npm ca ct okay you can see in this figure here angle lnm congruent angle pmn this angle okay i am talking about this angle that is angle lnm congruent to angle p m n by c a c t so we have question number 5 in figure seg ab congruent seg cb seg ad congruent seg cd prove that triangle abd congruent triangle cbd let's see proof of this question in triangle abd and triangle cbd look at this figure your side ab and side bc got a same kind of mark okay side ab 
and side BC got a same kind of mark therefore side AB congruent side CB look at this figure here side AD and side CD got a same kind of mark okay side AD and side CD got a same kind of mark therefore side AD congruent side CD look at this figure here seg BD is a common side it is a side of both the triangle I'm talking about the segment look at over here seg BD okay it is a side of both the triangles therefore side BD congruent side BD okay because common side therefore triangle ABD congruent triangle CBD by S S S test here we have question number six in figure angle P congruent angle R and seg PQ congruent seg RQ prove that triangle PQT congruent triangle RQS let's see the proof of this question in triangle PQT and triangle RQS look at this figure here angle QPT congruent to angle QRS right which two angles will be congruent over here this angle angle QPT congruent to angle QRS how we came to know you can see the given part it is given angle P and angle RR congruent okay so I can say here angle QPT congruent angle QRS look at this figure okay you can see here side QP side QP the side is congruent to side QR okay how we came to know look at the given part it's a given that seg PQ congruent seg RQ so we can write here seg PQ congruent seg RQ okay now look at this figure here angle PQT okay congruent to angle RQS all right you can see that you can say angle PQT or you can say angle RQS it is same angle okay with two different names so I can say that here angle PQT congruent angle RQS it's a common angle same angle therefore triangle PQT congruent triangle RQS by angle side angle test okay these two triangles are congruent by angle okay angle this angle side angle okay angle side angle test